Well, hello again, my friends. We are back. Another great American craft beer review with Kyle here on Saturday night. No doubt, my friends. Hope everyone's enjoying the weekend out there. A little bit of snow on the way tonight. Super Bowl Eve. Maybe an inch or two of wet snow tonight, but not a big deal. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today. I have a beer that is being hyped and is being really, really hyped here. I don't know. I, I've not had it. Uh, it's from the Lagunitas Brewing Company. Now, they're located in... Patelamore, California, and Chicago, Illinois. Kick-ass beer. This is my first Lagunitas beer review. This is the Willetai's Coffee Stout. The Willetai's Coffee Stout aged in rye oak barrels, 2017. Uh, it says, and we put two things in them, rye or bourbon. We scored some of JD's Scroogeable Cask and put one thing in them. And uh, a Kentucky distillery. And this is getting some serious accolades on Untapped. Uh, a couple of my friends had and said it's one of their best beers they've ever tried. Uh, I will tell you this. It's a big, big, high ABV beer. 12.6%. 12.6. I'm trying to let this alone a little bit. It's been about 15 minutes, but getting some heat condensation there. Uh, also, the IV using this for 39. I like Juanitas. It's pretty good. Uh, you know, that's another one of those breweries that I put in the top 10. I've had a lot of their beers. Never really reviewed them. They're one of those companies where... I've never really purchased six packs or bombers from them. I've had probably a dozen over the years of beers on tap, IPA, a little something, something. Uh, and Sally, uh, the Waldo beers are very, very good as well. So I can go on and on from beers I've tried on tap at, at Jungles and a couple other restaurants, Pies and Pints, at Dingle House up the road, had a couple. But uh, yeah, they opened a facility in Chicago near Revolution and near Wrigley Field, and that's a massive place. That's more for the tap and they have production there, but their main production was in California, so... Again, familiar with their beers. It's not really reviewed them. I got this from my great friend Mark Linville, who uh, is a great man. Mark is a great, great guy, great friend of mine, great father, has triplets, and a great man. We were doing, <coughs> I gave him a couple of beers, and he's like, man, try this. And he's like, this is phenomenal. And then I went on the untapped. Zach Rogers rated this a five. He's a big stout guy. And boy, people are as well. 4.24 is the untapped average. My friend's average is 4.75. And if you like the rye beer, rye or rye whiskey, which of course who doesn't, this is in for a treat. So let's go ahead and get it going and get, get see what we got here. This is also a, like I said, a special review because it's the first live one of this beer that I've reviewed. Cool logo cap, logo cap there. And live one has the Bulldog uh, logo, so that is unique. We'll put that in the archives as well. Come on, let's try to get it like bottle caps. It's cool when you get that first review. And of course this one as well, 2017 edition. Actually... I did have some glassware from Lagunitas. Just not sure where that is at the moment. They did have a pint night here back in 2016. But uh, not sure where that's at. So let's go ahead and get a pour. And get this big boy going. Hopefully it's it's kick ass. And, it, and I think it is. I think it's going to be. Look at that color. Wow that is dark. That is dark. It's an imperial stuff with the rye oak barrels for one year. That is dark. Flavorful. My goodness. Color. Right out of the bottom. Now let's see if I can see a date stamp on here. I don't know if I see one, perhaps, uh, on this one, but, uh, yeah. You know, I, I like to find a date stamp, but I'm not going to be, I'm not going to knock a beer if they don't have a date stamp. I do prefer it, but if it's not there, it ain't there. I mean, if, if it's good beer, if it's good beer a couple of days over, it ain't going to harm it. You IPAs, I think you're more concerned about with date stamps more than anything. Stouts, porters, even ambers or red owls is a great day said. <coughs> you know, it's not a huge deal you can drink a stouter porter years at for years obviously aging but even like red ales or amber ales a couple months after a date and it should be fine so unless it's an ipa a fresh topped ipa i'm not too huge about that look at, the, look at the color darkness look at that carbonation there's some nice head on this let's get the aroma of course i am stuffed up but oh man wow first thing i'm getting is clearly clearly some coffee uh Coffee aroma, a lot of bourbon, uh, again that rye whiskey bourbon, a ton of that in this, but definitely coffee, chocolate malt, roasted malt, some even some like citrusy, uh, some fruit fruit notes in there as well. So let's get it going. I want to thank the brewers at Lagunitas. They, you know, when I talk about elite breweries, I oftentimes do not mention them. I think they are up there. Uh, they're they're excellent. And uh, let's thank Mark Limbo for giving me this beer to try and a trade. Love Mark and. Let's say cheers to him, and also, again, enjoy your Saturday evening, everybody. Here we go.
Wow. Woo! I have to say that that is dangerous. My God. 12.6. Now, it's actually, this is weird. That's very good. I, I think it's, it's, that is very good. It's, it's actually light. I mean, my goodness, look at the color. The head dissipated very quickly. Well, so there's a little bit of lacing on one zip. The head dissipated on this. What a, it's a light beer. I'm getting like some Mercer malts up front. Not heavy at all. 12.6. Some slight burning now. Yeah, just slight. Ever so slightly. It's not, not boozy at all. But these boys can brew beers. 12.6. And I, I just think it's a testament to technology in general. How even Avery and some of these bigger companies are brewing 15, above 12% stouts. I've had some some local breweries and amateur breweries that brew stuff at eight nine percent that have more beers than this. This is wonderful. Definitely getting some rye bourbon. Let's try it again. My God. You know that that is so good. That is coffee. Oh my God. I have been blessed this week or this weekend. I should say I drank the. Uh, one of the best stouts and one of the best beers. That's <coughs> nice. Excuse me from Listerman that nine. This is right up there as well. My goodness, mercy, mercy, mercy. Twelve point six. What a rye flavor. They didn't. You know what? It's it's just it's just enough. It is touched. There's just a touch and a tap tap of the rye whiskey, the rye bourbon. Oh my God, this is awesome, folks. I'm telling you right now, get out and try this beer. It's fits five for me. A plus. Wow, I don't know how that's twelve six. That is one of the best. That's one of the best beers I've drank in a long. This is probably another with nine of last night. Phenomenal beer, my God! Again, twelve point six. You see, I took three sips already, and very, very small. I don't want to end up, you know, blacking out. Pay if you dig this in a hurry, you're in big trouble. This is it's three Bud Lights exactly four two. I mean, you're looking at there's three Bud Lights in here, so at four two would be eight four twelve. Three Bud Lights in this, but uh, I tell you what, really got to thank my good friend Mark. This is phenomenal, folks. Uh, just enough of rye, and you know, I think they brewed it perfect. It's perfect, because I, I feel like the rye, I like rye a lot, but some breweries would have been underdone it or overdone. This is so, it's definitely there. Coffee up front. My goodness. A++. plus plus. Try this, folks. Uh, life is too short again, my friends. You must be happy. Saturday evening. And if you, uh, if you like rye bourbon, if you like coffee, if you just like Imperial Stouts, or if you just want a, a kick-ass beer and a buzz that you're not going to feel anything, try this. Live when you does it again. This is an A++. I highly recommend this. You will not be disappointed. So thanks again, Mark Linville, and uh, cheers, everybody. And again, until we meet next time, wishing you the very best of goodbyes. Cheers.